Appalachian Wireless is Appalachian Advantage. Unlimited text, talk, and two gigs of data for as low as $45 a month. Or if you like, get five lines on eight gigs of data for just $145 a month. See store for details. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. They say there's an exception for every rule. And that is true for even this rule behind me. The one that says no motorized vehicles are allowed on the Dawkins Trail in Johnson and McGoffin counties. And that exception is gonna be made on October 21st. The sheriff decided to, uh, to uh, try to get some type of a permit from the uh, Department of Tourism where that uh, people could come out and look at the trail, take a ride on it on a side-by-side uh, -side or a golf cart and uh, see the beauty of the uh, trail. Normally, the Dawkins Trail is closed to any motorized vehicles. However, several people have called the sheriff's office asking if there was any way to see the trail from a side-by-side, -side, prompting Sheriff Dwayne Price to ask the Kentucky Department of Tourism for a one-day permit. And after several weeks of communicating back and forth, they agreed. Yeah, you know, the Department of Tourism would uh, set the guidelines of uh, you know, what they expect when they issue the permit. Uh, they want just uh, side-by-sides or uh, golf carts. The ride will be held on Saturday, October 21st and is free. However, there is a limit of how many side-by-sides will be allowed on the trail. There are going to be two rides on that day. Uh, the first ride in the morning uh, will have uh, 20 vehicles and also the uh, ride in the evening will have 20 vehicles. The ride will begin and end in Johnson County at the Swamp Branch Trailhead, and pre-registration is required. That deadline to submit a pre-registration form is October the 6th, and only a few slots remain open. For more information on the Dawkins Day Drive, call the Sheriff's Office at the number on your screen. In Johnson County, I'm Shannon Deskins for EKB News.